Hello everybody. Um, yesterday you learned how to convert between degrees and radians. And today I want to make sure that you feel like you can do this well. Um, so what I want you to do is think with me here. So all the way around a circle in degrees is 360 degrees. And yesterday you found out that that meant in radians, 2 pi radians, which is how we'd write the exact value. But I also want you to know that pi is just a number, 3.14. And if we take out our handy dandy calculator right here, and we do um, calculator, and we do two times 3.14, we get 6.28. So I wanna kinda also write this in its approximate form right here. So approximately 6.28 radians. Now, we know that, um, and I'll just draw the, the circle right here, 360 degrees is all the way around our circle. We know that 180 degrees right here, which in our Ferris wheel is just up uh, halfway. We know that that's going to be, all right, we got to divide by 2. If we divide 2 pi, divide it by 2, we're just left with 1 pi. So we'll write pi radians. But this is also the same thing as just 1 pi, which, I don't know, if you take away the times 2, you just get 3.14 right here. So 3.14 radians is the same thing as 180 degrees. Now let's go to a 90 degrees right here. So if we draw ourselves a 90 degrees, 90 degrees right here, we know that we're dividing 180 divided by 2. We're dividing 180 by 2. So pi divided by 2 is just pi over 2 radians. This is our exact answer. And our approximate answer, which is also OK, let's see. So we have um, 3.14 divided by 2. That gets us 1.57 radians. So that's uh, for 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 360 degrees. But let's think about uh, angles that are a little bit more messy, a little bit more um, not exactly at one of our x or, or, at, or y axes. So let's think about um, 70 degrees right here, 70 degrees. Now, yesterday you learned a little way to convert, and that involved kind of going with 70 degrees and putting it over the total number of uh, degrees in a circle, which is 360 degrees, and setting it equal to, okay, I know that all the way around the circle in radians is 2 pi, or 6.28 radians, whoops, R-A-D, radians, and we don't know what the angle in radians is, so we'll just put x right here. Now, what's happening to that x right now? You can say it with me. It is being divided by 6.28. And so to undo, we're going to multiply by 6.28 on both sides. And I think what we're going to have is we're going to have something with it that we need to calculate for. So let's go um, 70 divided by 360. 70 divided by 360 equals, okay, that's, the, that's this fraction. Then times this fraction by 6.28. 6.28. And I get 1.22 radians. So the whole thing is 1.22 radians is equal to x. Now, in our little organizer right here, 70 degrees is equal to, we don't really know what this is in terms of pi, that's okay, but it's around 1.22 radians. And this makes sense a little bit because we learned uh, last time that one radian, I don't know if I'm running out of room right here, I might be. One radian is the same thing as around 57 degrees. I'm not quite sure if it was a, a point something, I'm not sure, but it was around 57 point something degrees. So 70 degrees being a little bit more than one radian makes sense to me. That, that really don't. I want to show you is how we can convert the other way here. So let's say that I'm asked, um, I know that I'm given, I don't know, 3.5 radians. And I want to know how many degrees is that going to be? Okay. So uh, RAD, usually we just say RAD. I'm not sure why I put an S right there. 3.5 radians is how many degrees? So I know that I want 5 radians. 
all over. Now the total amount of radians all the way around a circle we know is around 6.28 radians. And now we want to find out what it is in degrees, but we know that all the way around the circle in degrees is 360 degrees right here. And we don't know how much 3.5 radians is going to be. We set up a proportion here. That's how we're doing this. Now, what is happening to the x? Everybody say it with me. x is being divided by 360. And to undo that, we're going to multiply by 360 on both sides. Let's go to your calculator. And we have 3.5, whoops, 3.5 divided by 6.28. And then we'll times that by 360. So I have an approximate answer of x is equal to 200.6. 3, I'm going to round that up to 7 de degrees right here. So 3.5 radians is about 200 degrees. And if we were to make this on the Ferris wheel right here, 200 degrees is, well, this is 180, so 200 is right here. 3.5 radians, well, we know that 3.14 radians is right here because that's uh, 1 pi. So 3.5 being a little bit more, again, makes a lot of sense right here, okay? So there's converting from degrees to radians and radians to degrees. You're going to have a lot more practice on that coming up. Thank you, guys.